Hi guys, Grant Shapps has recently thrown his hat into the ring to run as a replacement for Boris Johnson. While Shapps is known outside the political sphere for his zany videos on everything from Brexit to buying tickets online for trains, he carries with him some baggage that refuses to go away. Now, the former Transport Secretary appeared on Tory-friendly Ian Dale's show on LBC, where he was put in a difficult spot over names he used in the past. Have a listen to him squirm as he attempts to answer this question. Um, I, I'm going to ask you this because lots of people have texted in this. It won't be a surprise question to you, I wouldn't have thought. Sam in Redhill says, why should we trust someone who uses several fake identities? So the this whole is, Michael this Green is, thing. I mean, this, is, this is just like a, a, from 10 years ago. The sort of labour slur is still going on. But my actual business is a printing company that I started when I was 21. It's still going 32 years later. As a hobby, because I, I quite like new technology, I wrote um, some books and I wrote with a pen name, Michael Green, as you say, writing on the website. My name's Grant Shapps. I'm writing with a pen name because one day I'd like to go into public service. I wasn't even elected uh, at the time. And uh, years later, when I was party chairman, I, I kept it on my members register just to make in case I had an income. And years later, uh, the, the Labour Party, oh, he's using this, you know, it, yeah, honestly, uh, it's extraordinary. Okay. This is still even going on. I know it's a sort of easy thing. Oh, write this. Well, I mean, it's literally say, dozens, actually, dozens of people but, when they knew we were doing yeah, this. Yeah, of course, because, so we, we, because, I felt I had because to... the trolls are out there. But they... Now, Shap says this is trolling by the Labour Party. Well, is it? According to Wikipedia, Shap's founded a web publishing business, How to Corp Limited, with his wife while he was recovering from cancer. The company marketed business publications and software, the existence of at least three people who allegedly provided testimonials for the company have been questioned. Shapps stood down as a director in July 2008. His wife remained as director until the company was dissolved in 2014. So nothing really bad here. He ran a company, it didn't go very well, and it was eventually wound up. However, in September 2012, Google blacklisted 19 of Shap's business websites for violating rules on copyright infringement related to the web scraping based traffic pay master software sold by them. Shap's web marketing business 2020 challenge publication also drew criticism. It cost $497 and promised customers earnings of $20,000 in just 20 days. So we have a current candidate for Prime Minister who used to run get-rich-quick schemes. It goes on. Upon purchase, the toolkit was revealed to be an ebook, advising the user to create their own toolkit and recruit 100 joint venture partners to resell it for a share of the profits. So people were charged almost $500 for an ebook that would tell them how to run a sort of pyramid scheme. Am I understanding that correctly? Shapps' use of the names Michael Green, Corrine Stockheath and Sebastian Fox attracted controversy in 2012. He denied having using a pseudonym after entering Parliament and, in 2014, threatened legal action against a constituent who had stated on Facebook that he had. In February 2015, he publicly stated, I don't have a second job and I've never had a second job while being an MP, end of story. However, in March 2015, Shapps admitted to having had a second job while being an MP and practicing business under a pseudonym. In his admission, he stated that he had over firmly denied, wow, <laughs> having a second job. In March 2015, Dean Archer, the constituent previously threatened with legal action by Shapps, threatened Shapps with legal action himself. <laughs> So let me get this right. Shapps ran a business using fake names, then threatened to sue someone who said that he had two jobs while being an MP. Shapps finally admitted that he did, but all of this is Labour trolls trying to blacken his name. Okay, candidates like this will start out really popular, but their own histories will likely sink them before too long. That is probably one of the reasons why Jacob Rees-Mogg isn't running for the position of Prime Minister. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.